dear brothers and sisters in today's first reading master gamaliel the pharisee and well known teacher in jerusalem and even saint paul says he learned under gamaliel and well respected man he is telling the history there were people who gathered the followers then they perished he was telling to the sanhedrin leave the disciples of jesus if it is from god it will continue but if you oppose you will find yourself opposing god not the man in the gospel we see again there is a human initiative andrew brother of simon peter brings small child who has five bread are good intentions and it is what god is also looking for but without the blessing of god nothing is possible today we are remembering saint catherine of siena last 3 years the whole world is going through pandemic people wearing masks and all during the time of catherine in 14th century there was a great plague it's called black death in europe more than half of the population died because of that and this pandemic black death lasted several years thank god at least covid 19 by 22 people were moving in different parts maybe few places it is still but black death lasted several years and catherine was born during this time and she lived only 33 years she died very young but just like we see in the gospel the small child young child bringing five loaves she brought whatever she had she offered her life at very young age at the age of 16 and she became a member of third order of dominicans this third order are like a lay associations lay associations of a religious congregation maybe nowadays it's easy to identify with movements like jesus youth or maybe may many other maybe i say because i am from jesus youth she is not married she is not a nun but she has that passion to do something for god and during that time popes were taken from rome and for 70 years papacy was in the city of avignan this city is very close to france switzerland and italy border and for 70 years popes remained there are different factors one could be pandemic black death and then more than 10 popes were changed maybe each pope reigning 5 years 10 years and they die then they elect new pope and most of the popes during that time were french people so they also remained so there are different factors then catherine of siena she goes and meets the pope pope gregory 11 and slowly she convinces all the cardinals and she brings back pope to rome after 70 years of gap it's not a easy task there are maybe like in the first reading we say there are so many people try to bring but they couldn't succeed hand of god was on saint catherine she could manage to bring then she remained loyal to the church and the whole church lot of divisions and she strived for the unity of the church she is also patron for the rome city for the italy and also co patron for the whole europe she is also patron saint for the sick people because she lived in the times of pandemic at the young age in 1380 she dies and she was buried in rome itself though we say catherine of siena because she is born she is a native of siena a city which is 3 hours traveling distance from rome but when she was buried siena people her hometown people were very eager that she be buried in her own city but rome people were not allowing somehow some siena people they came they want to steal the body it is little strange that uh, somebody is fighting for the uh, dead body but we should understand the greatness of this person when people are trying to steal the dead body these siena people comes and they open the grave and they know that they cannot take body because the roman guards roman police during that time maybe they might catch and if they catch they will be put into jail and you should remember these are different countries now italy is one country during that time there are small small countries within the italy so they open the grave and they cut the head of catherine 
so they want to take at least a head to their own hometown as they were going the roman guards in the border check post they stop this delegation which came from siana and they are checking everything and when they came to these people these people started praying to catherine catherine please do something or else we will be in the jail then they opened the bag when they opened they saw in that bag all rose petals flowers there is no head of catherine they crossed the check post and then they could see the head of catherine that's why catherine of siena has a two important churches one is santa maria in minerva close to pantheon in rome where her whole body is there and in her hometown basilica of saint catherine her head is there but interesting thing is her head is still preserved it is not corrupted it is still we can see when we go to uh, in that basilica of saint catherine when we allow ourselves to god when we dedicate our lives to god and his work god does miracle today we heard in the gospel how jesus could take that offering of that small child five loaves two fish to feed more than 5000 people in the same way when catherine offered a life in god's service god could do wonders miracles through her let us offer whatever we have we should remember whatever we have in our life it is a gift from god but when we give that gift to god god will bless and make it much more bigger as a blessing to others let us ask saint catherine during this eucharist especially that this pandemic might end and for the unity in the world without wars and that all people believe god and become one family